Hi YouTube, it's me again. Coming back with video number two <laughs> of my little journey. Um, I am actually just now leaving the hospital from getting, excuse me, from getting my blood work done. Unfortunately, my veins like to disappear, collapse, whatever you want to call it. So they had to go into my hand, which doesn't hurt too bad, but it's not nice. So anyway, so I'm here now at my doctor's appointment for my pre-op. <laughs> and um, getting ready to go inside and have them explain to me what they're going to do, how they're going to cut, all that good stuff. So hopefully when I come back, I have some decent news on how this will work or be able to explain to you how it will work, what they're going to do, all that good stuff. So stay tuned. <laughs> Hey again, it's me coming back to you with part two of the first video. As you can see, I am at home now. I um, guess I kind of toned down a little bit. I'm just a little tired today. <sighs> Getting up at 3 a.m. to go to work kicks my ass. <laughs> um, so I just want to give you a update on what the doctor said. Excuse me, I am watching Travel Channel, planning my next trip. <laughs> Um, so I spoke to my doctor and we did discuss the incision type and what I would need to do afterwards. Um, we didn't go into too much detail because we're going to write those questions down and give them to my mother so she can ask them while I'm taking a nap. <laughs> so, um, first thing that we did discuss was healing time. I think I did say it in my last video, it will take up to six weeks. So I go out Monday and I'll be back sometime in October, just in time for the Hip Hop Awards. So I can go to Atlanta. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I love it. But no, seriously, um, it'll take six weeks. Um, once in the within that six weeks, my first night will probably be my hardest night because I've seen other females they get the the bra afterwards. Well, my doctor said he they don't provide you a bra here. Why? I don't know, but um, he said he's going to do the X, I guess, X um, bandaging, which bandaged me really, really tightly. Like having a bra on, I will have to buy my own bra, which, you know, it is what it is, I guess. So, I am ready to go bra shopping, so if anybody wants to go with me, let me know. <laughs> I'll be happy to go. <laughs> um, so... <sighs> I'm going to tell you first, my size. I dreaded saying this, but it has to be done. Um, I'm going from, and don't judge me, <laughs> please. I'm going from a H all the way down to a C. Why a C, you ask? Because my theory is this. If I decide to find the man of my dreams and have children with him, um, my breasts could get larger. Or, if I decide to find my man my dreams and he breaks my heart and I decide to eat, <laughs> I'll gain the weight. And once you gain weight, you gain it everywhere. So, I need to have a little bit of a cushion there. I don't want it to be, um, basically, I go down to a double D and then gain weight. I don't want to go through this process again. One time is enough for me. So, I'm going to take it all the way down. I can lose the weight. I've been told by family members, friends strangers oh why are you going so low that's what i want to do it's my body let me do what i want to do with it thanks um as well you know i can always lose the weight that's not a problem i will post a picture of how i look i don't like taking body shots i hate them with a passion but like i posted on instagram it's something that i have to get used to doing so gotta do it one way or the other right <laughs> So, um, that will be posted somewhere in between here or at the end. I don't know yet. It depends on how I'm able to edit the video. Um, so yeah, that's my size. <laughs> as far as the incision, what he said he's going to do is called the Lejeune incision. It's similar to the, um, I guess they call it the anchor, but it's slightly different according to what I've been reading online. Let's say this is the booby. <laughs> this is the breast. This part in the middle is the nipple, the areola. With the 
Lejeune, I hope I'm saying this right. If I'm not, please forgive me. They're going to cut around the nipple and then down versus the anchor, which is around the nipple, down, and then around the breast. So basically, it's like they're lifting it and putting it together. With mine, they're going to lift it and put it together. It's just not going to be a, a scar underneath, pretty much. So my scar will be down the the center or down the bottom of the breast I will still have um, he said we'll still have sensation I shouldn't cut into any nerves or anything so pray for me y'all <laughs> I'm not big on people sucking on my breasts I think that's really weird and it could be because I have big breasts I don't care but at this point in my life I'm good <laughs> I'm good keep your mouth to yourself thanks <laughs> But um, I don't really care about sensation. That's not something that I'm really big on. I just would rather have small boobs. That's my main goal. So judge if you want. Eh, whatever. Um, <laughs> so hopefully, prayfully, Lord, pray that I have minimal, minimal scarring. If I do have scarring, that's fine. I don't plan on flashing my breast to strangers on the street or <laughs> to any of my friends or anything. So that's not an issue. But I did um, ask him about the drainage little thingies that go in your incision. And those are kind of freaking me out because I did see some on YouTube and worries me. I'm going to post a picture of what it looks like, but from my description, hopefully you can see what it is. When you're getting your blood pressure done, the little pump that they use and the um, and the tube, it looks like that. So basically that's going to go into my incisions on both sides and it's going to catch and it's not going to be like the pump thing. It's going to be a little plastic cup and it's going to, all the drainage and stuff is going to go into that and I'll have to, I guess, unscrew it or somebody correct me if I'm wrong, unscrew it, drain it. Sounds so gross. <laughs> And then screw it back on and without messing up my bandages, supposedly. So, we'll see what's going to happen with that. Um, that's the part that makes me nervous. My mother claims she's not going to help me. She'll help me or she's going to go back home. Love you, Mom. <laughs> um, but other than that, I mean, I'm I'm ready. I'm just, right now, I'm just really tired. Um, my mind is like a million miles away. I'm a true Pisces, so... I'm here, I'm there, I'm up here, I'm down here, I'm just, I can't, I, I just, I'm just not thinking straight right now, but I have two business days, I don't count the weekends, you know, weekend is weekend, so I have two business days left before this happens, I'm thinking I may not post a video on Sunday, I have to see how I'm feeling, if something, you know, just compels me really hard to <laughs> get that out. If something like pushes me really hard to make a video, I will. But to me, it doesn't make any sense to make one today, Sunday, and then Monday. You're not going to miss me that much. Or you might. I don't know. <laughs> but, um, so, we'll see what happens. Um, I've met a couple of young ladies on Instagram who are also going through the same procedure. And I think somebody said that theirs was this week. And another one, I think most of them are this week. So, I wish you ladies all the best. You're probably not going to watch it, but if you do, I wish you nothing but the best, fast healing. And I pray for everyone who is going through this, will be going through this, and has gone through it, that everything goes wonderfully and, excuse me, <laughs> everything goes wonderfully and, you know, healing goes well for you all. So, in turn, pray for me as well. And you see I talk with my hands, got my nails done, and I have to take my color off. I'm so upset. It looks really good in this light, but my hands are not that dark. It's just really dark in here. <laughs> but, um, see my little cupcake? My little cupcake? <laughs> but, um, ooh, it. sorry. Um, <laughs> y'all know I'm silly. But, so that's about it. I'm just rambling now. So, I'm going to add this to the first part that I did as I was going into the doctor's office. So, hopefully this makes sense to you. So, thanks so much for my new subscribers. And talk to you later.